Hello, my peace. It is Wednesday, the 2nd of August. Oh my God, it is August already. This is Tracy Stewart, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and friendly paper pusher. Um, I am not coming to you live today. I'm coming to you pre-recorded because I have been having so much fun <laughs> and so busy and I just have not had a chance to fight with the technology to find out why my video keeps going at a different pace than the speaking. Now I know I speak fast, but my generally my video will keep up. So I don't know what's happened lately. Um, we just have a bunch going on and my IT department slash teenage son has uh, not had the time to time wherewithal to help me figure out what the problem is. We had it fixed, I don't know why. Never again, I'm not unplugging, it's a laptop and it's meant to be like taken with you but I'm not unplugging the damn thing again because chaos ensues. Anyways, I have a lot to cover. <laughs> um, I am still working on the project I said I was working on so my new goal is to have it ready for you for Friday. Um, which will also be a recorded video because I have plans on Friday morning. <laughs> it, there's just so much going on but you know what? It, I'm so I'm having so much fun having summers off after 30 years of not having summers off that sometimes it's really hard to just not go hey it's summer holidays I'm gonna have some anyway what's up this Wednesday well I have all been all about the new holiday catalog <laughs> for the last little bit planning and planning and planning um, so I have many things to show you from that and and I I decided that I was going to um, explain the three different levels of carding event I did at the same time so that I don't know maybe it would make more sense um, as you're trying to if you're trying to pick and choose or decide what you want to do and you know as we're going along um, maybe it w I'm hoping it'll help in the end <laughs> um, I just sorry all of a sudden I, I misplaced something I needed um, the uh, the catalog is awesome there are so many, so many good things in the catalog and it was hard, but I did narrow it down to here's the ones I'm going to focus on. Um, I ordered all my pre-order this morning. Demo perks. I need to get a little sign that says hashtag demo perks that I can, I was going to try to do the real hip hashtag sign um, that I could like flip out every now and again. Every time. Demo perks. So yeah, you get to see the catalog early. You get to order early. It's awesome. Love. Um, I will have catalogs. I, I did the expedited. I paid extra to have it ship faster. And I've already got the notice saying that it shipped. Um, the package is on its way. So um, I should have a lot of stuff next week, So that which is awesome. So at the end of the month when I do my like little holiday head start um, and get everybody... I know it's hard when it's summer and it's hot and there's fires and you're doing all the things, but um, it'll be here before you know it. <laughs> there's, there's numerous web pages and like little like Facebook things I see where they're already counting down to Christmas. And it is one of the busiest crafting seasons. Um, so yeah, people are already like gearing up for that. I'm trying to ease us into it. So I got some fall stuff going and you know, but I'm gonna try to explain kind of what the plans are so you can give an idea. And, I, and right now I have one poster that went out. This basically just save the dates. If, if you're interested in doing these things for now, just save the dates. More information will come later. You can make the bigger decisions later. Um, and I got a new place and I got new stuff come out. Oh, there's just, there's so much. So I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Okay. Before we get started though, another one of the demo perks is going to demo events. So demonstrator events. So this last weekend we had the Canadian DDM, which is demonstrator development manager. So she's basically stamping up like employee in Canada. Um, the demonstrators are all independent, but there are like actual Stampin' Up! staff. She's one of them. She's the one actually in Canada. Um, there's, I don't know, half a dozen DDMs that cover the states where the largest concentration of demonstrators is. And then there's, uh, I don't know, a few of them in the Europe market. I think there's one for Australia, Queensland, not even sure anymore. Um, anyways, she's a lovely lady named Genevieve. Um, and she flew up from Toronto and we had a little get together. So it's a bit of training, a bit of, a bit of uh, sharing ideas, a little bit of crafting. And lots of times it's really just, just talking to people and, and just the things you, you find out and 
well, I would like to do this, but I'm, oh, you know what I tried? Oh, you know, it's just so much fun. A day and a half of just totally nerding out over stamping and discussing and talking and nobody eye rolls because you get all excited over a color or a ribbon or something because they get it. So anyways, I, I did thoroughly enjoy it. So one of the things we did, and I would be interested to know if you, the customer group, um, want to try something like this because I would love to do it because it was a lot of fun. Um, so lots of times you do swaps where like you make cards and you just like literally swap. Here's the card I made. I'll trade you for one you made. So you'll make like 10, 15, 20, 200 of a card and you swap with people. Um, the one we did this weekend was called the shoebox swap. So got everything together in a box, but didn't actually put it together. Uh, somewhere on my desk is the leftovers. There we go. So for like the card that we did, I had a whole bunch of these out. I had the blocks, I had the ink, I had the stamps, I had everything we needed because you can't pre-stamp anything. Um, this was my partial one. I did actually stamp it because this is the one I was going to show to put together. So this was what we did, right? So you have all the stuff that you need in the little thing. Everybody stamps it, uh, puts it together. You get up, you move on to the next shoe box. Sorry, I just realized that I got these little gems in there, right? So everything's just kind of put together. So you get to stamp and assemble and put your cards together and you get lots of neat ideas and stuff. So I had eight of them. I keep moving things around on the desk. Okay, there we go. So we had eight, right? So I made eight of my card, and so I got to go make eight of other people's cards, which just occurred to me. Five, six, seven, eight, seven, nine, ten. Oh no, I have eight of them. Okay, for a minute there I thought I don't have eight. So these are the cards we made, and I thought I would just show you them. Um, one of the beauties of this too is you get really cool ideas, but you also get to see styles that are not necessarily your own. Um, which gives other ideas. So if you guys see any of the cards here, I can recreate any of these cards. If I don't have the exact set, sorry, that's distracting me. If I don't have the exact set, I probably have something close. In this case, I have the set. Um, I love this color combination. I don't know why my everything looks so dark on here today, but um, I'm happy to make any of these, like recreate any of these cards. We can add them into this, the rotation at any of our classes. So this is a bit of a pocket card, I think they're called. So this little piece comes out. This zany zoo. These little animals are so adorable. So there was one of them. Uh, this one, who are, I, and I don't actually know whose cards they are. I wish I did. I wish I could tell you. Um, if I find out, I'm actually going to start writing on them. But I, for now, I'm not 100% sure who all these cards are. Uh, but whoever's card this is, she did a lot of die cutting. So this is actually die cut. You can't totally see it in the, no. We, um, it, there's a special set of dies that gives like this little stitched it's not like a like a sewing machine stitched it's a I don't know it's a very funky little outward kind of thing uh this is the truck punch which I keep calling it the little red truck it does not have to be red voila it could very much be pink and then these these are the these are the things I keep wanting to show you these are the new florist dies which are a standalone set of dies oh I got it buried on my desk now um and they are just genius what they have so there's another one of the cards if I don't, there, it's very possible this was supposed to have a sentiment, but if it was, I could not figure it out at the time. And there was lots going on and we were chatting and having too much fun. And so I thought, you know, sometimes it's nice just to have cards that are here and don't specifically say anything. Uh, this one was made by a lady on our team, Pat. Isn't this a cool card? It's a fun technique to do, um, but it's just a very striking card. Very cool. And then I, I had little scrap pieces left over, so I was gluing them everywhere. Um, so we have that one. Uh, this card was made by the lovely Tamara. Oops, there we go. And uh, this card is the Stampin' Up's DSP or like designer series paper is so awesome. Um, and so this could have been four different um, patterns. Could be the same ones. I, I kind of like the three in one. This could be any occasion. Just switch out the paper, switch out the colors. Like this, uh, switch out the sentiment. This is just an awesome card. Love it. Um, I think this was also one of the ladies on our team. Um, I, I think this was Elaine. Love this paper. Love, 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 love. I'm, I'm about to open the inside. There's nothing on the inside. Um, this is the uh, Country Inn Suite. And uh, I love the font. But yeah, this the blues and stuff. Oh, I just love that paper. Uh, this one I do remember was made by Jen. Now, here's the other thing I will tell you. You know me, how I cut my paper. All the paper 
um, I when I cut like for a, a portrait style card, I cut my paper long because I like them to tent. So anytime the card is like this and the card is intended to go this way, I switch it <laughs> so I can stand it up. So these are not the exact patterns. These are all the pieces switched to the way I want, you know, just because I'm particular about the way they stand. But anyways, they all worked. I managed to make them all work. So this was, yes, it's a very nice gen on our team that designed that card. And then I'm not sure who designed this card, but this card was, there's like so many bits and pieces here. Look at all these amazing colors and earthy papers and there's a little bossing and isn't that cool time to make new memories so anyways yes those were the cards and i had lots of fun making them and, and chatting and doing all sorts of good things i got some good tips it was yeah it was an awesome thing uh let me see i have a little more show and tell for you this is august's uh, wreath um, entry <laughs> so remember uh july was our Canada C to C um, and I, I went back to the welcome for the August one because I don't know about you but I welcome the fall <laughs> I am NOT a summer person I'm very happy to see summer come to an end and fall come so welcome fall um, and these are retired dies but I just can't part with them because I love them so much so our lovely sunflowers and I apologize to the people in the wreath club because you will not be getting your sunflowers until this week because I am just a little bit behind but so you know what to look forward to. Um, okay, so there's my show and tell on the crafts. Oh, I have a little bit more, I guess, but that's okay. All right. So let's talk getting together. <clears throat> because of all, all the things that I do, I really do love getting together to make to make stuff. So there is a new kit out that came out yesterday. yesterday yes. And I can't get a really decent picture of it yet. I ordered one, and when it gets here, I will put the tags together, and I will tell you. So this is 15 tags, three each of five designs. We have a little tree, a little pointed setter, as my family would call it. Uh, which one's that one? That one's the ornament. This one is a wreath, and this one is this adorable snowman. Um, and and there's no stamping in this kit, so the sentiments come pre-printed. And I looked it up, and there's like, for you, Mary... Merry Christmas, I think is one. Joie, Joie Noël. Um, mit Lieb. Mit Lieb. I love the way that sounds. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but <laughs> I love the way it is. Which it, I now know is German for with love. So yeah, you get all the different languages. So you can just pop them on here. So this is the newest one that came out. And coincidentally, boom, we're right in the middle of a kit sale. So I meant to check before I started. Um, I know there's at least one kit that is temporarily out of stock. So the kit sale, I think, is uh, I think is having some success. So I just got to turn this. Um, so yeah, all the kits, including that brand new one. So this it's regularly eighteen dollars, but it's on sale for sixteen twenty because right now it's ten percent off. Some of the kits are twenty percent off. Some of the kits are thirty percent off. So for our upcoming ladies' night, um, if you want to get your kit now, you can get it on sale, and I'll just bring it to the night. Um, they make great gifts. They are great to have on hand just for, I love kits for when I just, I don't want to have to think, I just want to play. <laughs> um, they're great to take camping, hotels, um, have on hand. So niece, nephew, grandchildren, whoever comes over, a friend comes over, coffee, whatever. Kits are awesome. So this is uh, the month of August, 1st to the 31st. Now some of them may sell out and not come back. Some may sell out and just take a bit of time to restock and some, hopefully they have lots of. Sooner is better. Anytime anything's on sale, especially lately, things seem to be um, doing better than expected. People are like embracing the crafting world, I guess, because things are selling out. So let me know if you would like any of these kits. Um, to know what kit is in stock, you're basically going to uh, my online store or the Stampin' Up, Stampin Up .ca website and you look under kits and it will say kit there's paper pumpkin which is the monthly ones those ones are not on sale that's the subscription one um but the the um kit collection is on sale all of them and that one basically if it's and uh, i keep always forget to say this but a bunch of the kits are in french as well right you can get so the ones that have stamps you can also get a french stamp set for them um the ones that are have no stamping are in four languages but the ones that are uh, like having a little stamp set and a spot in them um, I think almost all of them, at least in North America, you can also get the French version of. But yeah, if if it's in stock, it will show on the website, right? If it's in stock or if it's 
out of stock, but they're bringing more in, it will say currently unavailable. And if, it, if you just can't find it, like you swore you saw it one day and it's gone the next, it's sold out, not coming back. So really the best way to tell of, like for inventory wise, is just to look on the website. So that's the kit sale. Um, I'm very excited because I think based on like the pictures in the catalog, because they don't really advertise the kits until they come out. I think there's an advent calendar banner and a card kit as well coming that will be coming out. And then usually by the time, so this is August, August, September, October. Yeah. Um, sometimes there's Halloween or fall themed ones or like Thanksgiving themed ones. Usually by the time they hit December, they're back to having a more of a, an all occasion help for everybody kind of thing. And then January is usually the, like some love themed kit. So it'll be interesting to see what comes up in the next little while. But like I said, the sale only runs in August. Okay. Midweek card escape. So I know I originally have my story. I was talking about doing coffee and cards, but honestly, I, I don't make fancy coffees, right? Like if you go to a coffee shop where you can get a fancy coffee, then I feel like it should have coffee in the name. Really, we're just having a midweek card escape. Now my original location um, is no longer. It, the business has changed around a little bit there. She's not doing it anymore. The, um, but not far down the street, just a little bit west down the street, like, no, I don't even think it's a full block, is a place in Mournville called Nourish. And I stopped by there today to talk to her about doing all of this. And when I say on the top of this poster, grab a smoothie or tea, maybe a protein donut. Did I spell protein wrong? I'm going to have to double check that. I have a feeling it's EI because all of a sudden that looks funny. Um, I haven't tried the protein donuts. I do understand some of them are gluten-free. But she's got all these smoothies and teas that are actually good for you. And there's this huge menu. And I can guarantee you that every time I go in that place, I'm ordering something different because they all look so good. And I had a watermelon tea today with a shot of aloe and something else. Now I can't remember. There, seriously, there were so many choices and I kept changing my mind before I went to actually finally order. Um, oh my goodness, it was so good. It was so good. And... Okay, not quite half of it. Maybe a little less than half of it made it home and I gave it to my son to try and he loved it too. Um, oh, it was delicious. So the teas you can get hot and cold, the smoothies, you can get shots of extra stuff in them. So many choices. Oh my goodness, it was just awesome. So this is where we're going to, um, I'm going to move my classes to. So this is the second Thursday of the month and we're planning some other crafting things, perhaps some light things. It, it's it's going to be fun. But if you want just to get away and make some kind of entry level cards, and it's not entry level, oh, I've stamped before I can't come. It's more just, they're just nice, easy crafting, right? <laughs> so these are the cards we're gonna try. Um, you may have seen the pictures from last time, but I still have stuff prepped, so we're doing it because last time um, you guys didn't come. So I had lots of stuff left. So simple cards but I mean they still have impact right I prep all the stuff so you just have to pick a sentiment to stamp you can pick your colors I got all five of the different in colors that work quite nicely with these um, this this set is I don't always I like to fussy cut okay who am I kidding I love to fussy cut and I love to color but this set it's super easy to cut these shapes out so you could just make the card with just like stamping the pencils on it and it would be just as cute but I like to like pop things up and color them and so this is still pretty easy. It's really just some stamps, some ink, some paper. Um, this card, I have a stethoscope, a band-aid, a pencil, a coach's whistle, and then like the light. So you could make fire, police, ambulance, snow plow, right? So these are, I mean, can you ever have too many thank you cards? And no. And then oh, my birds, I can't get enough of the birds. Um, and I just grabbed one card. Cause you can do lots of different things with this bird you can put the glasses on and have the bird nerd but i just i i love this set i love these bright colors look at the little flutter vibes so this is the midweek right this is just some nice simple crafting come out stamp a few cards make a few cards three for ten boom you're done put them in the mail hand them to someone spread the love that's what it's all about and it is just kind of a nice thursday is literally the midpoint of the week and um it's just a nice like brain break really come on so i would prefer if people rsvp so i had an idea how many were coming because then i'm better chance of having the right amount of stuff prepped um but 
if you just last minute can make it, come on down. Uh, it's a great way to do it. So this is Midweek Card Escape at Norris in Mournville, right on Main Street. Uh, it's in the same building. It's at the east end of the building um, as the post office. Post office is at one end. Nourish is at the other. Oh my goodness, guys! I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna keep going back, and I'm gonna keep trying a different thing every time because, yeah, me. Okay, have I said that enough? <laughs> I had the most delicious cold tea today. Now, next up on the agenda, and I said this. I have did, I have so much fun with Canva. I was just like having a blast. Um, and these pictures, because yes, that's how, uh, how much I think, um, these pictures are representative of the stamp sets we're using for each event. Now, because I can't show you any of the pictures of the catalog and I don't actually have physically have them yet. Um, it, it's, uh, it was just what I could find in Canva that gave an idea. So our holiday head start, which is mostly to show you all of the stuff that you can get. If you want to order any of your own stuff, I'll have all the stuff ready for you to order. Um, if you want to sign up for any classes, I will show you. I should have, I'm hoping to have all of the samples made, um, or at least most of them. But if nothing else, I will have the sweets ready so you can see this is what we're going to use. Um, so, but we are still going to have the option to make three cards. So for this one, we're using, I, I, so as much as I, I, I would like to pretend, and I do have the, I do have the catalog open on a certain page so I can remember what I'm doing, but um I haven't, don't have everything memorized yet, but I think it's called Mary's Trees, and it's this awesome new tree stamp, which I think you could, you could make this into, like, if you had somebody who had a winter birthday, such as myself, um, you could just make this into a winter birthday card, and it is, it's like the blues and greens, and it's very fun. Um, trees, and, and there's one of the trees has, like, this garland on it. Oh my goodness, I love the garland. Can I tell you? Adhesive sheets are your friends. <laughs> so, this is the first one up. If you, want it, if you want an idea what's happening for the next three months, September, October, November, December, four, it's, you know, four or five months, I guess, actually. Some of them will spread out. No, four months. Sorry, we're not doing any in December. December's way too busy. We're going to do one of the little midweek escapes because you will need an escape in December, but, but the classes only just run up to the end of November. Um, it's a good thing to do. Make this the one you come to so you can see all the stuff, know what you want to get trucking along <laughs> is the bundle which remember the other day when I was doing this and I said I, I have no idea where I put it okay so see my hand right there that's about where the trucking along bundle is you can still see a bit of my thumb right I had this I had the stamp set I had the punch but the punch was pushed back and I had set another stamp set over top of it I looked all over I'm like do but I didn't lift up the piles of paper as you can see I have piles of paper right now I'm in the planning phase yeah, I was on my desk the whole time. Um, so I will tell you what, I, what I've done just because you want to, it's kind of, I, I, I've amused myself too. But So when I get the catalog, I decide which ones I think have the most appeal to everybody and have the biggest variety. So you can have a little bit of everything that you want to do. And then I do something like this and I start drawing the cards. So, uh, so there's the five cards we're making at the Trucking Along Suite. It's the first one coming up. It's the one I've had the longest, so I've actually had a chance. So this is kind of an everyday stamp set. These one, This one's a birthday. This one just says special delivery, so it could be for a lot of things. This one's a Christmas one, and this one's a fall one. It's a chock full of sunflowers. So if you're curious what the cards we're making, um, so yeah, we're making five different cards using that. So that's what I do. I kind of plan out that, but I, will, I should actually have the cards available to show you, but it's very cute, and I just love the graphics, so there you go. Um, scoring points. This is so. This is the card, and I did send out an invite to this to several of the people who had expressed interest before. So this tends to be the significant other of the crafter in the family, um, or you know maybe a teenage kid who comes to make stuff for the crafter in the family. Uh, this one I won't show you the stuff ahead of time because it, it's supposed to be a surprise. But if the if the gentleman or whoever that is coming to craft wants to know I will tell them what, it, what the idea is and then the 7th of October is a Saturday like most of these are Sundays um, this is a Tuesday night most of these are Sundays for our Sunday craft afternoon um, the world card making day is actually the first Saturday in October so it's a Saturday and in this case we're doing a shaken up world card making day because we're gonna make two fun shaker cards because one of the sweets that's in the catalog has the cutest little shakers in it um, 
And I want to be able to just make a couple fun cards. You don't tend to need a ton of them, but if you have that special person or maybe, you know, a special little grandkid or somebody that you want to give a fun card to that shakes, makes noise, um, they are a little thicker, but they are still mailable. Anyways, we're just going to make a couple of those so you can make cards. And then if you have questions about anything to do business-wise, um, I do um, fundraisers. You can plan your own ladies' night or your own corporate event or your own, you know, whatever. If you want to do something, let me know because I love to come up with ideas and plan these things and do them. So we'll be talking about all those things. But you can also make a couple shaker cards while you're there. Christmas extravaganza. That is uh, that is on this list just because it's, you know, part of what I am doing. And I keep myself straight by putting it in there. But I will explain details of it in a minute. Uh, ladies' night, in this case, is a private event for, it's a group of us. Um, so much fun. Little box here in the corner because we use kits. Order a kit. Everybody brings snacks to the potluck table. We all sit around, chat, do a little bit of crafting, whole lot of chatting, whole lot of snacking. Um, if you want to set something up like that, let me know. Especially now because, again, kits are on sale. The very cute Christmas a thon. <laughs> I used to have little mini extravaganzas at my house. Um, Thanks to said puppy, not really doing them at my house right now. But um, this is this is um, one suite of products, and it is a very horrible. Um, and yes, sorry, I, I meant to go back here. This one, the cards are are like greenery with little hollies and stuff. In this case, the very cute is sort of a wintry scene, and there is a bear punch, and I am very excited about it. Um, and these cards are wintry, Christmassy, outdoorsy types. Could be used for birthdays, could be used for thank yous, teacher gifts, like so many different things. This is called a Christmas-a-thon because, as you'll notice, it runs from 9 to 6, or sorry, 9 to 4. So it's 6 hours. Is that 6 hours? With an hour for lunch. You don't have to take a lunch break, but if you want to take lunch, you can. Or or we'll do like a potluck lunch. Once everybody starts telling me what they want, we'll, we'll finalize that one. But this is more of a come craft for the day, and you'll end up with probably 10 cards, 10 gift cards slash tags, uh, maybe a couple treat holders. Yeah. Once I start playing and seeing how much is possible in it. But, but this is all made from one suite. And it is, uh, you have lots of leftovers too. So you can do more crafting at home if you want. This is going to be a fun one. And then the last one of the of the sort of fall season is the treats and tags. Where we'll be doing, well maybe making treat holders. Uh, you bring your own chocolate snacks, candies, whatever. I have a oodles of treat holder options um, i'm hoping to have hershey's nuggets again so you can make like little placeholders and little nugget wraps and stuff and we'll see how it goes so these level of projects just gonna try to keep that from sliding are more of the intermediate the casual type crafter so whereas i showed you something like this was like the beginner card this one is a little bit more now this is not hard and I do prep a lot of things, right? So in this case, like I would have prepped this stuff, you'd have stamped a few things, right? So this is more like the intermediate. So we're stepping things up a little bit, right? Um, I'm here to help. I have all the good tools. I prep a lot of the stuff. You know, I have some options, a little bit of variability if you want. That's kind of our intermediate level. And then, and then, it's the extravaganza, which would be great if I could get my papers apart. There we go. Nope, almost. The, and then it's the extravaganza. Now this is more, it's not that the projects are so much harder. It's just that it's less about us showing you how to do them. And we will answer questions and help you and explain things as needed. But the cards are kind of designed in a way that everybody can just sort of craft along as they go. I, we make, I make all the projects ahead of time and then I'll give you a sheet with like pictures of all the projects. So you know what the end thing looks like. Um, my partner in crime, Tamara, my friend, um, she will die cut and cut and prep so that most of the stuff is done. So you basically get to stamp and assemble and, you know, get, change, change things up a little bit if you want, but you'll have a stamp set that will let you do all of the greenery and all of the sentiments and stuff. Uh, and we are using the Christmas classics stamp set this time. And it has, and this is why I have my catalog open to cheat because I don't have it memorized yet. Um, let me see, two, four, five big sentiments and a few little sentiments that all kind of coordinate. Uh, and then there's one, two, three, four, four, I think, um, little like greenery images. Um, so those cards are mostly kind of red and green and gold and more like traditional, but 
with the greenery and the foliage. It is an awesome set. And the dies that come with it, so you can choose to have the bundle, the dies that come with it um, are fantastic. <laughs> then we are going to make, so we're making 12 cards. So two of the designs will be mostly that set. One of the designs we are going to use the bear set. Um, sorry, it's a different, it's, it's a part of the bear set that I'm doing the day long thing with. We're using a kind of a version of it and a version of the merriest trees. <laughs> We're sort of morphing into one other one just to give a little bit of extra variability. Um, it's nice to have cards that are maybe more suitable to like a kid or a teenager or the guy or the one, somebody who just likes a little less traditional card, right? So we have that other set going as well. But because this catalog is so awesome and just the way it is, there's another set in the catalog called Throughout the Year that we're adding on as an option. And I'm going to make more samples with it so you'll you'll see once the sample time comes. But you can take a lot of the cards we're making and like I said, turn them into thank yous, birthdays, um, just, you know, have a great day kind of thing, thinking of you cards that will work for like winter holiday type stuff. Plus there's a couple more holiday sentiments in this other stamp set. So you have lots of options of like three different levels of doing it. This one is all day. It is so much fun. It's, it's been a very, very similar group of people. Like this is our fourth one. And we've had a lot of the same people that just keep coming back because it's such a nice day of crafting. Uh, but it is it is more independent crafting, so maybe a little bit more experience. But if you know how to use all the supplies, you could easily make all these cards, and we will be around to help. Not to mention that people that sit around you at your tables are some of the nicest people, and they will also help. But this is more of the kind of stepped up version. So, yeah, this was my version of the stepped up. We get, we now have different layers and some things and some embossing and a couple little techniques and right. So the cards tend to get like at each stage get a little bit. A little bit more. Um, I am happy to accommodate whatever level of stamping and help you through it. And like I said, it it definitely helps have it. I got all the toys, right? So it definitely helps. So this is what this is what I've been up to. <laughs> I have been doing some crafting, and now that all the planning is done, and honestly, folks, I will tell you that I get the catalog, I make the decisions. Tamara and I get together and we decide what's gonna happen with the extravaganza and what what products we're gonna use. So I don't duplicate up on that she sets her personal classes I set mine we get the group one and then I need to make a poster and I need to make a registration and can I need to make and so there's all this computer stuff so I've been on the computer for hours and then I got to order this morning and I got oh my goodness ordered it all and so next week when it comes I will do an unboxing so you can see like the stuff but then I plan to spend like just two weeks of solid just crafting and playing <laughs> oh, cannot wait so I hope, if nothing else, that I can see you guys all on the 27th and we can, you can you'll be able to see all of this stuff and then you can plot your whole winter of crafting with me because, like I said, I like to craft. Um, if nothing else, you want just a nice, a nice uh, morning out, make a few cards, forget about being a grown-up and all that adulting stuff for a while, next Thursday, Nourish, Mournville, Main Street. Uh, don't forget the kids are on sale including the very first of this season's Christmas kits, tag, festive tags kit. And uh, yeah, yeah, that was a lot of stuff. That was a lot of show and tell. That was a lot of information. Um, if you are not already signed up for my newsletter, I would suggest signing up for my newsletter. I just posted a link, I want to say last night. It could have been the night before. I think it was last night. Um, because all of this stuff is recapped. And then as I get more details and as I get more stuff, that's where it goes. The newsletter goes out every two weeks. I might end up putting out a, a couple in between ones now as new stuff happens, um, like more time critical stuff. But yeah, basically every two weeks I tend to sum these things up. So uh, that's a good way to keep up with stuff because I just rambled through all that probably rather quickly and maybe, maybe you need a recap. <laughs> so thank you guys all very much for tuning in and, uh, I cannot wait to get together and craft and I cannot wait to play with all this new stuff and show you guys all this new stuff. So that's what's up Wednesday. Thanks everybody. I will be back on Friday. Have a great week. Bye.